the leech, the parasite, the virus of Black Clover Mobile has been found. And we can say this pretty much, I don't know, with almost 100% certainty, that he, this man right here, Mr. Jai Young Choi, was the problem. It's insane. He was the lead developer for Black Clover Mobile and the um, CEO of Vic Games as a whole, which is the company that made Black Clover Mobile and is now making Breakers uh, unblock, unbreak the world. I don't know. I don't know the name anymore. But the, the Breakers game, the open world game that I covered in like two videos. So this guy has been really bad with communication. And obviously, JP has not been going well. Like we would get what we would need to in like one season and three like seasons spread out and it would be bad the communication was bad we would get dev notes so irregularly if we really look at it um which is the dev note section the fourth one okay it's this one so we would see like at the beginning it was it was decent right first one uh 26 of may four days later two weeks later two weeks later then it went to a month later then a month later then three months later for the dev note and then a month later and then two months later so, the reason why I'm saying that we know he is the reason, well, for, for a good part of it, is that now it was confirmed on the 29th of February that the new, or the lead developer has changed, or the PD, I don't know, I'm going to guess that means the lead developer, something like that, has changed. It is now Kim Jai Chol and not uh, Jai Young Choi, so it is a new person leading the Black Clover mobile team. And within it, the first dev note, obviously, was insane. We had a bunch of stuff. I'm um, talking about experience in front of growth, which is what they're tackling in a new developer note that they just released. Um, talking about replayable content, talking about more PvE content coming, talking about really working hard on PvP, talking about taking out story tickets, but this only applies to JP. For global, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then also saying the anniversary is going to be gas. Adam, Annie is going to be gas, right? So all that good stuff. And then five days later... Today, well, maybe tomorrow when you're seeing this, because I already just released a video, which bad timing, I guess. We got another dev note, and now it's in like a PD's development log type of format, and this is going to focus on talents. And this is insane. The fact that we've already gotten two dev notes in five days, when usually we'd get one on average, like every month or two. Like, huh? Like, huh? Like, what? You guys gotta understand, I am fiending for any type of content. I'm fiending for stuff to talk about. And they just, they're giving it, right? And it's not even just that. It's the fact that the communication is being more open with us for JP. And because it's open for JP, we know more stuff that's gonna come for global in the future, which is good, okay? So I'm very happy about this. Um, the communication is the biggest part. But now let's talk about what they're changing to the talent. They're also changing a bunch of stuff for the talent um, feature. So I just want to pull something up and just talk about this real quick. So obviously they did add the like conversion features into here, uh, the, mainly for the substat and talent. So we could see, not this, for this, uh, five yellow gives one purple and then 10 green gives one yellow. And then for talents, where is it? Th uh, the, the fourth one? No, wait, where is it? Did they just take it out? Oh, no, it's on the bottom. Okay, uh, five green makes one yellow now, and five yellow makes, makes one purple. So you could actually get the plus three speed, technically, without getting the plus three speed in a way, if you get what I mean. Like, you need five yellows, but still, still. So this was the new feature that they added, um, but now they're going to talk a bit more about it. We're going to kind of skim through it, because I did actually, like, already go over most of it, but I, do, I had to re-record. The file got corrupted, but this one seems to be a bit more cleaner now, the video, so, you know, not a bad thing. I do want to talk about, just read this, you know, for good stuff. After releasing the first dev note of 2024 last week, I was wondering if there would be a space to briefly share the development of Black Clover Mobile. We have created a new space called PD's Development Log, as we see here. This was not there before on the official forum. In the future, dev notes will be used as a place to share development direction and roadmap from a broader perspective. Insane. Just this immediately amazing. We will share various development progress, such as new content, system improvements through PD Development Log. The first thing to be shared in the development diary was talent system improvement at Imprint Stone. There were a lot of people that were mad, basically, and um, basically they're just going to talk about it a bit. So current problems and the uh, direction for improvement. I'm going to talk about this and then we're going to get into the actual thing. As mentioned in the first dev note of 2024, in the case of various goods that can be obtained from in-game, because the structure of acquisition and consumption is reflected abnormally, um, they basically made this system that I just talked about. So, like, even with accessory synthesis and the new food, which was also insane, like, this, to me, is maybe one of the, maybe the most influential update, where with lower-grade food, 
I, I abuse the hell out of it. But with lower grade food, I make it, I cook it. Okay, great. It's done. And then I could convert it into higher grade with here. So like right like that. Insane, right? Insane. So I think that is honestly really good. Um, so that's what they're talking about. So this was to help like um, fix a lot of problems, which I think were there because we, you get a lot of lower grade materials and you can't really use them because you didn't get enough higher grade. So now there's not a problem because you make the lower grade into the high grade. There you go. So there was a lot of negative opinions about the item conversion that I just talked about, the plus three speed, where you can make like plus two speed into plus three speed because it took like five plus two speeds or 25 plus one speeds. So to make one purple, it's quite a lot. So uh, yeah, they just apologize for that. Now, getting on to the juice of it about talent slot change system. The reason talent and printing stones were added to the item conversion function is because people enjoy content by consuming action power to acquire legendary talent imprint stones commonly represented by speed three. I, I translated it on my phone and it said speed three. So that's kind of what I'm uh, going off of. In most cases, you can acquire common and rare engraving stones and the path to obtain legendary is very limited. So they basically did this to avoid fatigue and stuff like that. Um, they were also working on improving the talent system at the same time, which I think is very good. We have improved the system to randomly change the positions of previously fixed talent slots. We would like to improve the system so that you can select and change the talent you want. Um, and then they talk about you would need the purple one. I think that is what they like refer to the purple one as. So on global, I don't think it's there anymore, correct? Um, but it's these. And I kind of got rid of them, but they're still there on JP. So we're going to be using these uh, to, I think, change it or whatever. However, we're going to change it. I don't know how exactly, but that's how it's going to go. Uh, so for convenience, an automatic slot change function will also be provided with the legendary talent seeds. Great. When the talent slot change system is added, talent slots can be f configured in various combinations. That's insane. So you could put just, we'll, we'll talk about it once we get down there, but it's going to be good. Normal to rare engraved stones held as remaining items can be easily converted to a higher level. Great. We look forward to providing you with the fun of growth through talent and engraved stones. Now, the one problem with this is that sometimes you would want to have like four people with plus two instead of one person with plus five, uh, plus three, right? Plus three. So obviously there's some different uh, scenarios, but it's just, it feels, it's still uh, something where you still have to grind a lot to get the plus threes. So it does suck in that regard, I guess. Um, although it is under development, uh, he's still going to share it with us. Since this is a system in the midst of development, it will probably change. But basically, from what I'm understanding, you use, let's, let's translate this. Why not? Let's go to Google Translate, put this in, and translate. So basically, it's all of them. Then change location. Oh, okay. So it's basically that you're able to change location and just choose whichever two out of the six. And why is this good? Because sometimes you can't really like work off of builds too well. So now you can basically make the perfect build for units. Because let's say you want crit damage and magic attack or crit damage and attack. Sometimes you can't reach it, um, especially because magic attack is, if I remember correctly, um, kind of between the magic attack one is this one. Uh, so this one. So the magic attack is between crit rate. I think it's, which one is it? Uh, I think it's these two, Frenzy of Battle and Ferocity. Because of that, it's either increased damage to bosses, which a lot of magic attack units don't need, right? And then crit rate 2.5 every wave. So you don't get much. So sometimes it's better to have either magic attack with damage or crit damage, right? But you can't because of how the talent system works currently. So this is an insane change that they're just like, oh yeah, we're going to drop this on you, right? Randomly after just dropping a bunch of new information too, or like hopeful information. And this is actual information. I don't know. I'm very happy with this. This is the end of what we will tell you through this PD's development diary to relieve some of the inconvenience or frustration you felt while enjoying Black BCM. We will continue to share information that is scheduled to be updated or in development in the future. Now, this is promising, not just like scheduled to be updated, but also things that are still in development. Uh, we will always listen to the opinions of uh, mages and development and develop Black Clover Mobile. This is good. Uh, people are happy. I, I Let me know what you guys think, but it's small, but it's good. Like if these small, uh, small things start to build up, Black Clover Mobile will genuinely become a much better game, right? Because there's so many things that they've started improving. Like we talked about it. Luck has all the like gear parts now, accessory synthesis. They also made, this was a pretty big one. Um, they made it to where when you craft the gear, like you could get, it's 95% for an LR. Where is it? Uh, is it this? No, 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 that's accessory, my bad. It's the blocky one, isn't it? It's this one, yeah, yeah. I was like, why is it taking so many? Um, like, look, no, no, no. Okay, I just wanna, I just wanna show. So now it's 95% for an LR. So like if I, for for example, um, take this out and I put this, I have like um, 10 SSRs and you get one LR pretty much every time. I, I mean, that's good. That's really good. I, I, that's good, right? So stuff like that, um, little things, right? Little things are starting to build up and that is what counts. 
The little things is what matters for Black Clover Mobile. So I really hope Global gets this for Season 5. If not, Season 6 would be nice. But we'll see. Um, I, I just think this is good. Communication is starting to happen much more frequently, which is what we need. And we need it to start happening for Global, and then everything will be good. Uh, like, listen, my main point is that we don't get communication, we rely on leaks, and that's just not good, right? It's not good. Like, I'm, it's not even relying on leaks just for kids. If that was all it is, like, I'm not going to complain, right? I'm going to be sneaky about it, I'm going to do my leak videos, I'm going to talk about the kids, but no, we have to rely on, like, full schedule from the, like, the leaks, and basically all future updates too, it's like, all around the leaks, so please take that away from us, and make it good, but yes, that's what they're doing, thank you guys so much for watching, if you got to this point, let me know what you guys think, and Mr. Jai Yung Choi, I'm happy you're gone, thank you for working on Breakers instead of Black Clover Mobile now.